Here's that transmission oiling modification. Had to remove the kickstart shaft, which is going to be a giant pain in the ass to get back in because of the spring. Anyway, here's the oil dam. You can see how it fits in there. I had to do a little bit of cutting right there at the end because the slot didn't go all the way through. And I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Honda Bond to lock it in place once I get it in there, get it where I like it. It now sits down on there like it's supposed to. And then you got to dick with it to get it to fit over. But I believe it's going to work just fine. There we go. It fits on there nice and tight. Everything seems to line up like it should. And you can see it'll raise the oil level uh, probably a good half inch. And that keeps these two fourth and fifth gear from having problems, which luckily these do not. I don't know if you can see that real well. But the gear teeth look excellent. I see no discoloration, no galling on the shift forks. Everything looks good in there. I'm thrilled to death of the condition of this thing internally. And there we go. Uh, I'm not sure how far I'll get today. I'm cleaning the cases right now. And as you can see, Timmy is a filthy boy. I found a vent hole in the case that was completely plugged all the way through the top case and into the bottom case. This hole right here. <laughs> That's just a vent for the transmission. Completely plugged. God only knows how old the dirt and shit was. But it doesn't matter. It's got another one. I'm just saying. Kind of a weird thing to find. Anyway, that's Timmy for today.